Uh, yeah, that's a big possibility. I think uh, we have played with a certain kind of pattern in the past. We didn't probably have a, a big tournament to work towards, but um, if you look at the squad and the additions we've made in the squad, we've tried to address a few things that we needed in specific uh, guys who can who can be X factors with the bat. Uh, you know, do things which um, are the need of the R and T Twenty cricket, and these guys have done so in the IPL on a regular basis. So. Yeah, we've we've tried to uh, cover all those bases. Um, now it'll be um, interesting to see how they go about things in these five games because these are the only games we have um, as a team before the World Cup, uh, and we want to see how these guys fare out there in the middle. But yeah, I feel like the squad right now, what we have, barring uh, Jaddu, who will who will come back um, whenever fit. Uh, is the squad that that I feel is the most balanced in terms of all the options uh, readily available for us to to take on the field as and when we want. Kushan Sarkar, you like to Kushan Sarkar, if you are ready, if not, Shriram, we are. Yeah, uh, I am ready. I am ready. I can ask the question. Yeah. Uh, my my question is, uh, how difficult is it to choice between Kale and Bhavan, and can both be fitted into the same playing eleven? Something like that. Um, well, I I don't think so. If if Rohit um, plays, uh, then uh, you know it's it's quite simple. KL and and Rohit have been consistently performing at the top of the order for us, and those two would start in a situation where a Rohit takes rest or a KL has a niggle or something like that. Then yeah, uh, Shiki obviously comes back comes in as the third opener, but um, the the starting composition. Um, Rohit and and Rahul will be the ones who will start. Yes, Shriram Mira. Uh, you know what was the decision on Ashwin? Uh, he's bowled really well in IPL, taken on top guys like Rohit, Gayle, even you. Is the door uh, closed for him in the twenty? And secondly, are you a bit disappointed, if not angry, uh, with someone disappointed that is someone like Varun Chakravarti for not getting the fitness right because he had time right from the end of the uh, end of the last IPL. Yeah, look, uh, individuals have to have to understand and appreciate the kind of system that's that's uh, been created for the Indian cricket team. Um, we should operate at very high levels of of fitness and skills. Uh, there's a reason why this is, um, you know, the, the top of the ladder when it comes to uh, playing cricket uh, in our country. And um, yeah, you would obviously expect players to abide by uh, what's required to be a part of Team India. Um, and you know that there should not be any space for any uh, compromise uh, in that regard. Um, having said that, uh, to answer your first question, Washington has been doing really well for us. So you cannot have two players of the same discipline, um, you know, playing in in one spot. So yeah, unless unless Washi has a drastically horrible season and and you know uh, things go south for him. Um, it's a. I mean, the question has to be asked with with some kind of some kind of logic as well. Uh, you suggest where you would add Ash and and play him in the team when someone like Washington already does that job uh, for the team. So you know, it's it's easy to ask a question, but you should have a, a logical explanation to it yourself. Vishal man and then Vinay. Uh, hi, Virat. Hi. Uh, good luck to the series. Uh, my question is about the batting approach that uh, the team has. Uh, team is looking for in terms of you know uh, the strike rate at the top of the order and. Going hard in the power play is that something that has been discussed uh, in terms of what approach as a unit that India needs to take ahead of the World Cup? There are many things that we have spoken about. Um, the kind of players we've added into the squad is precisely to give our batting line a more depth. 
and not play in a similar kind of pattern that we have played with in the past. Um, so we want to be a side that plays free cricket, uh, not have any baggage of lack of depth and you know one guy having to bat long enough to make sure that we get to a big total. We have explosive uh, batsmen in the in the team now who can uh, change the game at any stage even if you're two or three wickets down and that's that's exactly what we've tried to address uh, picking this squad. So this time around you'll see guys being a bit more free, um, a bit more expressive in terms of um, you know approaching the innings and playing more freely, uh, not worried about whether we have enough batsmen to take care of things if we lose a couple of wickets uh, early or not, which was the case before to be honest, we didn't have enough depth in the batting to be able to play uh, you know, freely throughout throughout the first 10 or 12 overs. But I, I see us being much more positive and free uh, from this series onwards. We'll take last few questions of Stephen Shemit from the BBC. Hello, Virat. Um, both uh, Josh Butler and, and Owen Morgan have said that India will be the favourites or the, the team to beat at the World Cup. Do you agree with that? No, I don't. I actually think it's England who will who will be the team to beat. They are the number one side in the world, and the the prime focus will be on them uh, in this World Cup. All the other teams will will be wary of the strengths that they bring onto the park. And um, yeah, every other team would would agree with what I say. It's it's England who are the favourites, and that that will not change regardless of how they think. Two, two more questions. Two more questions. Vijay Shroy and Sunil Delhi. Uh, hi, hi Virat. Uh, Bhubaneshwar is returning from an injury after one year. How would you rate his progress in the Nets and do you see him as an important cog in the bowling scheme for the T20 World Cup this year? Yeah, he's, he's, he's shaping up really well. He's come back. Um, he's fit. He's worked uh, really well um, to, to get back to 100% uh, you know, uh, fitness. And um, look, he's a he's a smart uh, operator with the ball. We've all seen that in the past few years, and he continues to bring that experience onto the field, which is going to be vital for us going forward. And he has a clear understanding of what he wants to do in the next few months, um, and he wants to contribute towards um, you know many more Indian victories in the coming months, especially. And in the World Cup, we would obviously need our most experienced T20 um, bowlers, and he's he's right up there with with anyone else uh, with the new ball through the middle overs and in the death as well. He's a guy that you can bank on, so yeah, we're very, very glad to have him back, um, and hopefully he can build strongly from here and and you know be uh, as ready as, uh, as he is now for the World Cup as well. I think यहाँ पे सर जो planning और thinking on your feet जो बोलते हैं वो वो बहुत rapid तरीके से आगे बढ़ती है तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि एक एक कप्तान को इस format में सबसे ज़्यादा precisely चीज़ों को परखना कौन से bowlers का बुलाना इन सब चीज़ों को समझ के वो चेंजेस करना जरूरी होता है और गेम इतनी जल्दी चेंज होती है कि आपको इतना समय नहीं मिलता है ज़्यादा चीज़ों के बारे में सोचने का तो बहुत इंस्टिंक्टिव और बहुत ही फास्ट डिसीजन मेकिंग की ज़रूरत होती है यहाँ पे और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट में जितनी स्ट्रॉन्ग आपकी टीम है उतने ही स्ट्रॉन्ग आपके प्लान्स ऑन द फील्ड एग्जीक्यूट होते हैं बिकॉज जितना कम समय होता है गेम में आपकी टीम की स्ट्रेंथ सबसे ज़्यादा निखर के बाहर आती है बिकॉज कम टाइम होता है तो अगर आपका प्लेइंग इलेवन इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग है कि वो किसी भी सिचुएशन को काउंटर कर पा रहे हैं तो आप अपने प्लान सक्सेसफुली एग्जीक्यूट कर सकते हैं बाकी गेम्स में क्या है कि टाइम होता है आप पेशेंस से सिचुएशन से बाहर निकल सकते हैं बट यहाँ पे स्किल और बिलीफ और पॉजिटिविटी हर मोमेंट में दिखाना ज़रूरी होता है तो वो एक रीज़न है कि हमें ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी का हमारा सक्सेस रेट रहा है टी क्रिकेट में भी बट लास्ट दो वर्ल्ड कप अगर आप देखें तो हम लोग एक बार फाइनल्स और एक बार सेमीफाइनल में रुक गए तो हमारी कोशिश ये रहेगी कि हम बड़े टूर्नामेंट्स में लास्ट फाइनल हडल भी पार कर पाएं और हमारा यही एंडेवर रहेगा अब से टी वर्ल्ड कप तक थैंक यू थैंक यू